I love this scripture which we have ever read mm. uh, last time mm. in James 1 mm. 21, which mm -hmm. says that mm. receive with meekness the word of God, which is able to save your souls. The engrafted word of God. Yes. Course, with meekness. With meekness. The engrafted word of God. Yes. The reason I like that scripture is yes. because the meekness, meekness means humility. Yes. The reason um, that scripture is so important mm. is because so many people receive the word of God, but not with meekness. Meekness means that you're ready to be corrected. Yeah. You're ready to admit you're wrong. Yes. When the word of God is presented to you in a way that you did not know it. Yeah. Now that is like, I'm being very honest with you, that is not so many people in the church mm. that I have met. Yeah. Even when you confront them with a clear word, yes. they will stick to what they know mm. and argue. I remember I argued one day with a pastor because I was presenting to him scriptures which he did not agree with. Mm. And I said, but it's in the scripture. Yes. Give me a scripture which does not. Mm. And then he said, no, 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 no. And he became very angry. And, you know, we really, really, um, uh, he, he really th threw a tone trump. Eh? Mm. And that's because he would rather be right in his wrongness Wrong. yes. than be corrected yes. and learn. Mm. And that's not meekness. That is not meekness. That's yes. why it says receive with meekness yes. the engrafted word of God. Yes. Because everybody who grows at some stage has to receive with what? Yes. Now, there's a reason Jesus said that needs to receive the kingdom of God as a child. Eh? You will not inherit yeah. it. Because the thing about children is when you tell them something, they accept it and take it and receive it with truth. Mm. They are not going to argue with you if you tell them this is not how it is done, this is not how it is done, and so on. Let's go.